In this video, we're going to learn how to install and configure Prettier Code Formatter in VS Code. Formatting code consistently can be a challenge, especially when working in a team. Code formatters like Prettier can help solve this issue. This is Coding with Adam, and let's get to the code. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, like, and share. We'll start by installing the Prettier Code Formatter. So go ahead and click on the extension tab that's represented by these four blocks. And then inside the search, go ahead and search for Prettier Code Formatter. You're going to get back multiple results, so make sure to choose the right one. The one that we want to install is from Prettier. You can confirm this by checking the name over here. It says Prettier. Also below the title, it says Prettier. And the version will be version 9 or greater. Go ahead and click that Install button. Now that we have Prettier installed, let's go ahead and try it out. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new file. I'm just going to call it index.js. And inside here, I'm going to go ahead and just create a variable, put some arbitrary number of spaces. You'll notice that I also use single quotes and I didn't add the semicolon. What I would like to do is use the formatter to remove the spaces, add the semicolon, and switch the single quotes to double quotes. So the first way that we can do this right here is if I right click on this file over here, and I say format document with, it'll then give me an option to pick which formatter I want to use. Since we installed Prettier, I can select Prettier over here, and you can see it's reformatted my document. It's removed the arbitrary number of spaces that I had. It changed my single quotes to double quotes and added a semicolon at the end. The only issue with doing it this way by right clicking and selecting format with document is that it's a little bit cumbersome and a little bit slow. You have to remember to right click and select format with document, then select the formatter. A better way is that we want it to format every single time we save the file. In order to do this, we're going to go to our settings. To get to our settings, we're going to click on the gear over here and you'll notice that I'm going to select settings, but there is also a keyboard shortcut that you can use. So we'll select settings. Then inside settings, I'm going to type format in the search. And you'll notice that we have two sets of settings over here. We have user settings. Now these are global for any project that I open up inside Visual Studio Code. If I open it up, it'll be using these settings. However, they can be overridden with workspace settings. So these are specific to the project. Let's go ahead and set our user settings. So we'll click on user. And then for the default formatter, if we open up this drop down over here, because we've installed Prettier, we'll have the Prettier code formatter available to select. Then we're going to scroll down and there's going to be a format on save. Check that checkbox. You also notice that there is a format on paste. However, I typically don't use that. So I just select format on save, close our settings over there, go back to our file. Now, if we add those spaces and I'm just going to save my keyboard there and you saw that I removed them. So this is great. Now, anytime I'm saving my file, it is automatically going ahead and formatting it. I add another variable down here and I call it color is equal to blue and I save it. You can see that it still kept a space between these, but every time I save it, it's like, okay, well, the most number of spaces you should have here is one between these two things, not this many. So you can see that our save is working right now and formatting every time we click save using Prettier. As you can see, I've kind of made the decision right now that Prettier is the code formatter that I'm using for every single project by setting it in my user settings. However, if we want to say that different projects use different code formatters, we can do the following. Following. So let's go ahead and search for format again in our settings. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go to workspace. Inside the workspace, we're going to go ahead and select prettier code formatter. And you'll notice that this new folder gets added called dot VS code. And then we're going to also go ahead and say format on save. So we have two things selected format on save and default formatter. Let's go ahead and take a look at this new file that was created for us. Now remember this is called a workspace. So this folder over here that I'm working inside called code formatting now contains a folder called dot VS code, which has a settings.json. Inside there, it's a JSON file. And you can see that we have two settings that we changed. One is the editor default formatter. So it's setting it to prettier code formatter over here. And then it's also set setting the editor.format on save to true. Instead of modifying the settings from here, we can actually even modify the settings from here. So I could change this to false if I wanted to. Then if we go to our project and now I make modifications over here and I click save, it's not formatting. Even though our setting in our user over here says it's 
format on save is true, that it should do it, we're overwriting it inside of our workspace settings over here by setting it to false. And that's being done inside of our settings.json. So this screen over here, workspace, is represented by this settings.json file, which can override the values that are there. If we go ahead and set this back to true, save it, and then go back to index.js, click save, it applies the formatting as it did before. And just to make sure that this is clear, the settings.json represents any changes that we make to our workspace settings over here. So you can modify them here and they'll automatically be updated in your JSON file. Prettier can also be configured with different settings. However, the best practice is to include a file in your project that describes these configurations. Now, Prettier can be configured from your settings over here. So for example, if we search for Prettier, we're going to find a bunch of options that we can change. However, if we change these options, they're only going to be available in our workspace or for our user. They're not really available for everybody who's on our project with us. This also technically depends on whether or not you've decided that for your project, you're going to be committing your workspace settings. Often you typically see that workspace settings aren't included, but sometimes they are in projects. So let's go with the assumption that we're not including our workspace settings when we commit to Git and other people are working with us. If this is the case, we're going to go ahead and add a configuration file for Prettier. The configuration file will live inside the root of our project, and we're going to call it Prettier rc.json. One way to confirm that this works is to see that you get the appropriate icon over here. Now the icon set that I'm using inside Visual Studio Code is called Material Icon Theme. So if you want to have the same icons that I have, go ahead and install this theme. Inside this new configuration file, we can go ahead and create a JSON object. Then inside here, we're going to set some properties which will change how Prettier formats the code. In order to find these options, you can either look through the settings or we could go to the website. On the Prettier website, we'll find options and these are the various options that we can use within prettier. Let's go ahead and try one of these options out. Let's try the quotes over here. So quotes, we're going to change single quotes and we can specify whether or not it's a true or false value. So single quotes by default is set to false. And what we need to do is copy the API override. So we'll go ahead and copy that. Actually, we just need to copy the name, single quote, go back to our JSON. We'll put the name in. And now by default, this is false. We're going to go ahead and set it to true. So we're using single quotes instead of double quotes. And we're going to notice that our double quotes will change to single quotes. Let's go add another rule as well. I saw one over here for semicolons. So semi is just semi. The default is true that it has semicolons. So let's go back to prettier.json, add that in over there, and we're going to put false so it doesn't have semicolons. Now don't forget to put your comma there and then to wrap this in quotes. Go back to our index.js. We're going to save that and those semicolons disappeared from the end of our lines. From this video, I hope you learned that you can use code formatters to not only keep your code consistent, but keep your code consistent with your team. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like, and share.